Hi, my name is Brian and tonight I'm going to review an Orange Pi Zero. So this is a relative of the Orange Pi series of uh, computers. Um, it's a Chinese imitation of a, of a Raspberry Pi. They kind of headed off in their own little direction. So this is, um, is an all winner H2 uh, system on chip. It is a quad core. Um, I forget the spec on the on the speed, but it's, it's pretty snappy. It is rated for um, 1080p. It has 256 megs of RAM on it, and it has um, a pin header for um, um, GPIO. It looks like 26 pins, and then it has this proprietary interface, which mates nicely to this little board, which is a couple bucks, and it just slides on here. So you might be thinking, okay, great, it's another cheap embedded system. Yeah, you're right. Except that it is, com it, 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 if you go out to RMBN, you can download um, Debbie and Jesse for it. It has a Wi-Fi connection built in, comes with a little antenna. It has one USB port and also has a 10 base T port and it takes power through um, um, micro USB. Um, there is another variant of this that has more memory, but you know, for embedded systems design, this, this is pretty neat. Um, some of these pins will give you two additional USB ports, a microphone, um, I think a headphone jack, a um, infrared, um, I don't know if this is a sender or receiver or both. It's got three pins, maybe it's both. And um, you, there's also video on here somewhere, and I'm, I'm going to rig up something to get video out of it so I can configure it. But, you know, this thing is $10 shipped through ePacket to the United States. Um, and that's a heck of a lot of horsepower for 10 bucks, considering it has Wi-Fi built in. Um, and um, the processor is basically the same as a cheap Android phone. So it's it's capable of doing quite a bit of processing um, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna be doing some Internet of Things experiments with it and it should be really interesting. Um, it's related to a Orange Pi 1 um, and uh, there's, there's other things, but you know, this thing is maybe two inches by two inches. So from a command control perspective, having Wi-Fi built in, having a standard distribution of Linux you can play with, this is neat. Um, if you haven't done so, I encourage you to, to check it out. Um, go out to Armbian, A-R-M-B-I-A-N dot org or com. I don't know. Google it. You'll find it. And you can download an image that, that will run this. So, um, and uh, anyway, thanks for watching my video, and I hope you find it interesting, and uh, have a great night.